Mercer has a way of saying that students here major in changing the world. I can't think of a better example of a Mercer graduate who's following the model of changing the world uh, than John Payton. John is a study in leadership and service. That's been his life story. He was uh, president of the student body when he was a student here at Mercer. Uh, folks who went to school with him told me it was obvious he was going places. He's bright, he's winsome, he's energetic, he's positive, he's encouraging. So it was not surprising to see him when he moved to Jacksonville to become mayor of Jacksonville. If you're looking for the qualities of John Payton, tremendous work ethic, great communication skills, terrific interpersonal skills, but probably the defining thing I saw most was his resilience. Because in the public arena, you never know when it's gonna come at you. And during his term as mayor, during his two terms, some very difficult things came his way that he did not create. And he had to respond to all of those. I think history is going to judge John Payton as one of Jacksonville's great mayors. So when I see John Payton, I see somebody who has exemplified extraordinary leadership uh, with their life and who's exemplified a commitment to a service in everything he's done. He has given in many different ways from the Gate River Run, which is an amazing event in Jacksonville. He has set up a fund at the Community Foundation that really addresses early literacy. That's an issue that became very important to him when he was the mayor, and he sees the importance of a healthy community having a strong government sector, corporate sector, and nonprofit sector. And he supports all three, and indeed, he's been engaged in all three. He put his career on hold to be our mayor, and he didn't have to do that. He really has a great wit about him, and I think that even in, the, in all of the stress that he went through as being a mayor during the Great Recession, he never lost that sense of humor and that ability to really you know, not take things too seriously. And I think that's one of the reasons he was so successful. John has two great qualities. He's persuasive, and he's witty. When he was in my business writing class, they had elected John to represent them in a plea that they had. Now, the class had elected him because he was my pet and they knew it. His plea was that I should consider not having a, a final examination because they had numerous grades in that class, which was very true. After he said that, there was this silence and I milked it, and then I said, well, that sounds persuasive to me. There will be no final, and then joy, of course, erupted. John Payton uh, changed the student body while he was here. John Payton certainly has changed Jacksonville. He will change the enterprise, which he is now uh, taking over from his father. He was born to lead, and he's led in every capacity which he's entered. I couldn't be prouder to call John Payton a uh, Mercer graduate, a former trustee of Mercer. He was on the board that selected me to serve as president. And I think it's fantastic that the Alumni Association is recognizing John in this way. With his persuasiveness and with his wit, he's very successful. He deserves this award and he's still my pet.